As you hear to my wonderful people, we now arrive again with another Ubunga news coming from the platform of News Post PLC. <laughs> it is a YouTube channel where I always get information that I need to get to my people because AK or AK, my own style of news can never be another person's style of news. That is why sometimes we need to do what we need to, we need to also help our compatriots. Hey. <laughs> I beg one, I don't mind me. Oh, this English, I cram more. <laughs> so, we're going to help our own brothers eh, with also the day to the system of promoting this uh, agenda of the United States of Biafra, uh, USB, and also the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Anyway, we're going to listen to this very important news. Oh, and the headline is that uh, Igbos have been betrayed so many times. Eh. The so called Southwest, which is a uh, Tunumbu, once uh, IDP comes in South. East not development, yes. So we are looking for uh rail line, they give us IDPs. We are looking for functioning seaport, they give us IDPs. We are looking for an international standard of uh, international airport, they give us IDPs. Good roads, no, they give us IDPs. Give us security, no, they give us insecurity and IDPs. Now they just want to worsen the situation in the south is by bringing in so called repentant Boko Harams, all in the name of uh, they want to establish IDPs in the southeast part of nigeria which is never possible and can never be possible not now and not ever all the evil plans everything they are trying to do just to make sure those two they're just trying to make sure that they take over the southeast region i mean our ancestral land by fire by force let me not lose the cat out of the basket i would like you to listen to this gentleman he said these things the way they are he hit the nail on the head he is my most idol and the most trusted ally in this uh uh, media of 18 but we all are fighting for just one cause for the independence united states of biafra and that is where we stand so please listen like share comment and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos coming your way after the news then i will drop my own uh, i mean my own view and also my own analysis before we can be able to dissect the comment section on the issues pertaining our struggle oh yeah let us go there other Nigerians are threatening us, telling us that they are going to send us back from their region, especially the Southwest. I saw some comments over the stand that Igbos made saying that they don't want IDP in their region, in the Southeast region. We know that the plan by the government to cause destruction and also make sure that there's insecurity in that region is a state sponsored plan. But yet, let me use this word, our Yoruba brothers, some of our Yoruba brothers, we are taunting us. And it pains me so much that knowing fully well that deliberately the government has decided to neglect and abandon the Southeast when it comes to projects, federal government projects. The government has decided to deliberately abandon this, the Southeast. When you look at other regions, you see what the federal government has done especially the southwest what pains me the most is our yoruba brothers and these guys they shock me every point in time don't let people say that you people are betrayers or backstabbers i don't believe that every one of you are betrayers or backstabbers they are very very good and very very exceptional yorubas that i know but when i see some people comment saying that they are going to destroy alaba they are going to send eagles packing from lagos i see the hatred that people have for the good people and it's very dangerous. We are an endangered species in this climate. We are endangered because the hatred that people have for the Igbo people is unprecedented. When I started watching and reading the history of the Civil War and what happened after the Civil War and how people came, came, came and started writing the history of what happened, the lies, the seeds, the misinformation by some other people of other region. When you watch the Oputa panel, and you follow that Oputa panel, succinctly, you will see that there was a deliberate attempt to misinform other Nigerians about the Igbo people because of a certain hatred. And this has been passed from one generation to another generation. Some parents in the Southwest will tell their children never to identify, never to play, never to have anything to do with an Igbo person. I was born in the Southwest. I'm even more of a Southwesterner than to call it to say I behave more like a Southwesterner. If you know me very well, I was born in the Southwest and I know very well. I was born in a Yoruba dominated community. 
So I was with them and I understand what is happening. Some parents would tell their children never to identify with an evil person. It is a culture that they have amongst them. So without any provocation, without anything, the young people will start seeing Igbos as a different kind of human beings. People that are not supposed to, uh, that, that don't need men, it's so bad. Now, you know very well that in the Southwest region, the federal government has invested heavily in the Southwest region that has attracted development to the Southwest. In Ogun State, other states, in Lagos State, you know. I know very well that the Southeast have been neglected. If you were in our position, what would you have done? Why the hatred? Why, why the, why, I don't know, I, I don't know what to call this. This is evil and wickedness. If you're a Southwesterner or from the Southwest, and you are telling us that you are going to chase us out of other regions or the Southwest region because we have refused the IDB camp in the Southeast. You are saying that the Southeast is not safe. The South is they are not welcoming. The South is they are cannibals. The South is they are this. That's why their region is not developed. They are not welcoming. They are this. They only want to protect their region and destroy other people's region. You know that it is lies. From my research so far, I have seen that there is a deliberate misinformation about the Southeastern people. People deliberately tell lies, even up to their professors, up to those that wrote some of their history. Like I told you, that it has been passed from one generation to the other that evil people are evil. Don't associate with them. You find it hard for an evil man to get a Yoruba woman to marry. But you find it easy for an Yoruba man to get an evil girl to marry. Who is now trying to create an enmity? Most Yoruba guys I know, they get married to evil. One of my sisters got married to a Yoruba guy. But you get him married to a, a Yoruba lady, you see the the, 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 the way they will, they will take you as in, who is this person coming to our house to get? It is prevalent among these people. The hatred is so much. If you are in the Southwest, would you take 50% of the things that the Southeast has taken in Nigeria today? Would you take, if you want to tell yourself the truth, why wallow in lies, deceit, and manipulation? Why, 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 why dwell for generations to, from generation to generation, you have been taught to hate a certain tribe, and you go to church, you are pastors, you are deacons, you are what have you, you are religious, and all of you, and you have this hatred for a certain tribe. A pastor during the election said, I will not be a bastard to vote for Peter B. That is where the hatred has got into. A pastor of a popular church is a popular pastor. He said it live on social media. It was it went viral. He said, I will not be a bastard to vote for Peter B. That means the kind of Christianity you people practice is to be questioned. You can see sub two bigotry and ethnicity, tribalism among some of these people and some of these churches. They show it. It gets to a point whereby they will cleverly manipulate you and gaslight you out of a certain gathering because you are an evil person. It is okay not to cite a refinery in Igbo land, a railway in Igbo land, an airport in Igbo land, other ministries, parastatals, refining offices, NNPC, top government offices in Igbo land. It's okay not to cite it. Now you're giving us an excuse that it is insecure. You know very well that the government has a hand in the insecurity in the Southeast. If you want to tell yourself the truth, you know the truth and you deliberately shy away from the truth. And you are gaslighting yourself. No, you're not gaslighting us. You are saying that you will, uh, since you don't want uh, the Northerners to stay in Igbo land, you are not welcoming them. We will chase you out of Lagos. We will go to Alagba uh, and born and do this and that. I told you, somebody told his neighbor, the neighbor is an Igbo person that owns a house. He said, when it's time, I will inherit your house. That person will wake up and go to church or go to mosque and pray to God. Do you, you think God is a Yoruba man? Or do you think God is from your ethnicity? You are praying to God of the heavens and the earth. And you still have the mind to think evil about the Igbo people. Whatever happens with the Igbo coup or whatever happened in the... In, that one is history. 
history it is in the past why do you continue to join the north why do you continue to join the north to carry out atrocity on the Igbo people you have everything within you to develop the federal government has given you the opportunity has positioned you well to develop and you see that there's a region which fought for democracy part of the region that were one of the pioneers in education in politics and everything you see in nigeria today they are being neglected and still you support in that neglect you support the political class in that neglect because you hate a certain tribe what has the Igbo people done to the southwesterners what have they done to deserve all this would you take half of what the Igbos are taking when you look at lagos and the southwest it is well structured look at the prostatals look at the investment that the federal government invested in lagos Yorubas are rejecting regionalism through their politicians we don't want to be part of regionalism which they have clamored for which sunday Bull was sounding loud and clear obviously because he's is is running a campaign for parliament Tinubu to become president because they are threatening if you don't allow us uh, become president we will divide nigeria we know that Igbos has a stand you are using the Igbos to cash out you know that the Igbos already have said they are not going to be part of this contraption this this union it is not going to it's not benefiting them you know that you are using the Igbos as a level to stand because you can't stand alone you cannot stand the north you cannot stand alone you cannot stand in north you cannot stand whatever they can they can do to you or however they can deal with you you cannot stand it look at what happened in kaduna these folks left talking about the kaduna mass the destruction and attack warehouses were really were raised and burnt in a yoruba community in kaduna state they left it but when it comes to the evil thing you see them bragging raising their shoulders i tell you you see it is only egos that can stand any type if we are saying okay let's divide nigeria into two we have the Igbo Aousa and yoruba the Igbo can confidently comfortably stay with any of the tribes but the yoruba cannot stay alone with the Igbos. the yoruba cannot stay alone with the Aousas. for instance divide nigeria into two okay Yorubas and Aousas stay on side. Igbo stay on side. Igbo will agree. Igbo and Aousas stay on side. Yorubas stay on side. Igbos will agree. Igbos and Yoruba stay on side. Aousas stay on side. Yes, Igbos will agree, but the Yoruba can never stay neither with the Igbos nor the Aousas because they cannot stand alone to fight any fight. They are using the Igbos to bring up their shoulders. If the Igbos were to in any way have alliance with the North, the Southwest, they are in trouble. One of the reasons why I saw that, I looked at the political angle. They are using politics in this whatever IDP camp, whatever Bruhaha, to cause an enmity between the Igbos and the North, which are looking forward to an alliance come 2027. So when they bring this enmity amongst them, there will be further disagreement further crisis further strife amongst these two political blocks this may be a cleverly planned or plotted yes action against that union union because article to be is what people are sounding 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 article to be some people are willing to, to even compromise to make sure that apc does not stay more than four years in power apc anything apc they are willing to compromise the obedient movement they are willing to compromise because of the evil that the southwesterners has shown through Tinubu as president and as a Yoruba person we are your brothers in the south instead of you to have our support you are backstabbing us you know that we don't have development we don't have road federal roads abandoned in the southeast you know all this you know that it is criminal against the southeast region and its development to bring in an idb camp you know it you know you know you know the implications of bringing an idb camp in the southeast you know it very well you know that an idb, IDB camp will not even stop at the most state it's going to go to Enugu, it's going to go to abia it's going to go to a boy and anambra and it is a hub 
It is the hope for these criminals to invade and infiltrate into the southeast. You know, they tried with water resources, it did not work. They tried with Ruga, it did not work. They tried with grazing root, it did not work. And compulsory ranching, it did not work. How would a government fend and cater for a particular tribe that are doing their business? You have your cattle business, run it as other people run it in other places in the world. But you see, they are looking for they are looking for avenues to infiltrate into the southeast and make sure that you cause more insecurity. These guys have a plan, a fundamental plan. When we read history, you will see how the Fulanis have been attacking the Yorubas. How the Fulanis have been become an enemy to the Yorubas decades ago. Look at the Afonja. How did it come about? Look at Forest State now. Look at what's happening. But yet, the Yorubas, they, are always, they always want to play games, play games with humanity. I said, you are first a human being before any other thing. You are not a Yoruba first. You are a human being. You will be recognized in the afterlife as a human being. And what did you do with your humanity? That is the question that a higher power will ask you. What did you do with your humanity? So if you think that hating your brother, your fellow human being, because of one flimsy excuse, is an excuse for you to stand before God, you are lying. You are just deceiving yourself. Human beings are precious before God, not Yoruba man. Yoruba man is not precious before God. An Igbo man is not precious before God. It is that human humanity that God created. He said, let us make man in our image and likeness. He was very much concerned about humanity and human beings. He created nature and gave man to subdue it. He didn't give man any religion. It is man that sought for a religion to get back to God. He was looking for a way to, for a kind of way to have access to God. You looking for a way to have access to God should not warrant you hate on God's image and life. See, it is high time we take this more, much more serious because this hatred is getting out of hand. It goes to sh should start thinking of how they are going to build from scratch. We do not complain that no CNG conversion center in the whole of the Southeast, no CNG conversion center. That's why I found that. 70% of Nigeria's gas deposit is in the Southeast. No CNG conversion center in the Southeast. We do not complain. But yet, we want to bring in insecurity. It is a life and death, something that has to be life and death now. Hope Zodima, you want to push some people to the wall. We, we don't have time for people that want to set. I, I, I sometimes wonder whether this guy is an Igbo person. He wants good for the Igbo people. Or whatever things you are signing with the Fulani or the Buhari people with the Islamization of uh, the Southeast, I don't understand. Whatever contract you have signed with them, you need to go and revoke that contract because it is not going to work. And it will get to a point in time that we need to sacrifice our lives for the betterment of our younger ones. This hatred should stop with our generation. Like what Namdi Khan said, the subjugation, the den denigration of the Igbo man will stop with him. It has to stop with our generation. It has to stop. No, it has to stop. We need to put a stop to all this. We need to put a stop. We know that amongst the Igbos, there are people that are stupid. There are, there are people that are senseless. There are people that when they act, you, you, you want to know whether they are human beings. But irrespective of that, we have that in every other tribe. That will not make you now look down on the Igbo nation. That will not make the politicians. I have not seen politicians as worse as Igbo politicians. These guys, nothing, they don't represent a real Igbo man. You see a real Igbo man. In the face of tyranny, in the face of subjugation, in the face of fierce opposition, he stands his ground. Are you afraid of the northern people in the house? Is it because of your greed? Because you don't want to lose your seat? That's why you're afraid to fight some battles. The Igbo man will stand his ground. Have you heard about the Igbo landing? Instead of them to become slaves, they need to die on their feet as free men. That is what an Igbo man is. It is time for Igbo people to start waking up to the reality. Any Igbo man that does not have sense, eh, reset his brain with a very big slap. Reset his brain with a very big slap. You should know where you are. 
you should know who you are. These guys don't want you to progress. Know where you are standing. Look back home and make sure you fix home. So we don't want any IDP camp. What we want in the Southeast is development. We have not rejected development. No region will want an IDP camp. The Southeast is not ravaged. It's not ravaged. It's not in distress what people are making it to look like. The armies go and destroy homes. Look at what they did at Okwama community. They went to a community and they raised down the community. They, just, they killed some soldiers. Instead of them to fish out the killers, they went, look at, look at the wisdom of the Nigerian military. Instead of them to go and fish, fish them out, even though they are hiding in the community, lay siege on that community, fish them out. What you did was to just level the community. To show a sign of what? Does that stop people from attacking you tomorrow? If we, we are sensible in this country, you should know that that does not stop civilians from having this hatred. Those that survived in that area, they will spread their hatred to other people for the Nigerian army, what they have done. And that hatred will germinate in the minds of other civilians. When they have opportunities, they will still attack the soldiers and give them more, much more worse to the soldiers. They can't be defeated by that kind of action. But you went there, you start destroying their houses, you clear the whole area. And you think it's a victory, it's a win-win for the Nigerian army. That's how they went to the Southeast and started destroying houses, displacing people. Yet, Southeasterners, Igbos are not internally displaced. Even though you destroy their houses, they find a way to survive. A typical Igbo man is not like a Northerner. Or some of those not... Or some of those Northerners, Northern people, which is dependent, which depends on the government for whatever they are going to feed on. They are dependent on the government. They are not independent of themselves. So the Southeasterners are not people that are used to anything IDP. No, we don't have anything with IDP. If you are going to be a Northern youth, I said it before, coming to the Southeast, rent a house, rent a shop, come and buy a land, you'll be sold a land and obey the laws of the land. All this occupation of the thing, you come, you stay in the bushes, in the forest, you start killing farmers and this. We all know this. These are our Yoruba brothers. Know this, but yet, they decide in their mind to, 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 to cast as passions on us. They know that what we are saying is the right thing. But yet, they decide to look the other way because of hatred. Or is it because we, we are not supporting it? It's too good, Yoruba. It is your, your own loss. If you are associating to with the Yoruba people, it is your own loss. If it's a Yoruba, then is a president. Was it Yoruba votes that got him to the presidency? Is it not criticizable if there's a word like that? Can't we criticize him? So we criticize Tinubu and you, th you think, you, because of your tribalist, your, your bigot, you think everyone will think like you. I don't see Tinubu as a Yoruba person. It does not represent the Yoruba ethos. The Omoluwa B ethos, ethics, he does not represent it. In everything, he does not represent it. His legacy is different from the legacy of our logo. So I don't think all the people he fought democracy with are against him, the Nadeko. So who are you in Dutan? Now I say because you are attacking Eddie. Don't associate Tungu, anything to with Yoruba. Except you want to be, I don't know, unfortunate. What's the meaning of that? We don't need, we, we want good leaders, irrespective. Ojuku, Ojuku ran as president. We did not vote him because he's not in that purview of at that point in time to become a leader that we wanted. Whatever you want, like you think, think you have been gaslighting some of your political leaders in the South have been gaslighting the Yoruba for a long time. And look at where we are today. If not for federal government development in the Southwest, only God knows when you look at some hinter part of Ogun State, Oshun State, and other entity states, you will be surprised that it's, it, Lagos, everybody is claiming Lagos, Lagos. Southwest, Southwest states, Lagos, 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 Lagos. Everybody's Lagos. They left all, the indigenous of Lagos are not even ruling Lagos. Other indigenous of other states left their states and they now occupy Lagos. Because of federal government investment in Lagos. Is that the legacy that we would have wanted for the Southwesterners? Why don't you develop other places? What is happening to the state on other places? So don't even bring a Tunubu issue here. Tunubu is not 
represent the Yoruba people. He's the president of the of the Nigerian people and he presents a Nigerian president as we speak, whether legitimate or illegitimate. So why hating on the Igbo people? Why hating on them? You cannot take this thing that they are going through, but yet you want to gaslight and want evil to come upon them. But see who God has blessed. No man can cause. That is the end of the whole uh, shenanigans. Hey, Yoruba say, hey, setting trap for the Igbos. Because of the alliance of P2B and uh, Atiku Abubaka. Now they want to turn the north against the southeast. <laughs> anyway, here are the comments. Too. We are going to just take a few comments. Then we'll round up. Um, wait on uh, and more grace. God bless and protect you. Continue to post the truth and light. Uh, that one is uh, by Chuko de Antoni. And according to Richard uh, Onyi, she said, good analysis. Chris, kudos to you. There is a price for every evil. Let them continue tempt God. At a point, the God will get angry. We are strong with you, brother. That is true. And the, and the truth is not hiding. This one is a chief for Imo. And according to Apleg, he said, this guy is speaking the truth. To, uh, okay, Izugo said, may God bless you for standing on the truth. To. And uh, what about uh, Chijo K. Onyemo? I like your program, Christian. Keep on saying the truth. Too. We love you. And uh, Charles Sacha said, All the oil companies that operate in the East have their headquarters in Lagos. They should also let the oil offices in Lagos move to the Southeast if they really mean what they are saying. Uh, this one is uh, Charles. Christopher is said, That is why the Igbos want to be on their and still they want to hold us back um ostimania said uh, this young man is speaking intellectual or uh, please he was listen to this man he is making a lot of sense he see uh, there's a uh, woman said uh, you are a very truthful but some yorubas are slippery and they're cunning no matter how long you discuss this they cannot change i even prefer fulani than yoruba because fulani we tell you where they stand but yoruba we pretend and stab you on your back, my dear. You have already, in fact, you have finished the point. And uh, at Better Angel said, Do they really think uh, that Igbos will leave all their sweat and just go back to East? No, that will not happen. I am all, I am all for Igbos living, but there must be negotiations regarding their properties. Uh, Ochiman said, Who cares what the Southwest thinks? Nobody cares, of course. Igbo decides what happens in the South East period. As simple as that. Anyway, my people now here go take a break. Please like your comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back.